Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Notion has been coming out with so many updates recently. We wanted to share some new updates for September. We're particularly excited about some of the super useful database updates. Be sure to check out our website at theorganizednotebook.com for more Notion templates, articles, and tips on productivity. Easy board view edits. Before this update, you had to manually click open each item in a board view to make changes. Now you can simply edit the title and its properties that are shown on the card. Make sure to make these properties visible so that you can edit them. First, click the three dots in the right hand corner. Click properties. Make properties visible by toggling the eye icon. Now if you hover a card in your board view, you will be able to directly edit this information. Drag a value from one cell to fill all other cells. This is a neat update where you can easily fill the same information inside tables. When using a table view database, drag the small circle up and down on the bottom right corner of the cell. Sync databases with Jira and GitHub. This is an exciting new feature where you can easily sync Jira boards and GitHub pull requests. We won't go into too much details, not everyone uses Jira and GitHub, but this could be useful for those who use them. All you need to do is to connect these apps and log in. First, go to settings and members on the left hand side of your Notion account. Click my connected apps and connect Jira or GitHub. Then, you'll be able to paste the link from Jira or GitHub that you want to show as a database. When pasting, you'll have the option to paste as a database. All the information will be synced there and you'll also be able to customize the way the database items are displayed. A new section for relation properties and database pages. This feature is especially useful if you have one database related to another sub-database. For example, in a situation when you have a database of main tasks and a database of subtasks that need to be finished for the main task, this is super useful. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have two databases, one for tasks and one for subtasks relating to the tasks. Now, when you go to the page of tasks, you'll see a list of all the pages relating to the subtasks. You can now make these related pages as separate page sections where you can directly add more subtasks. Go to the three dots on the top of the page, click customize page. Next to properties, you can change to as page section. Now you can easily add new subtasks directly to the task. New search features. The new search features are a fantastic addition to Notion. Before it was called Quick Find and now it has been renamed to Search. You can access search from the left side bar or a quick tip for searching on Notion is to use Ctrl plus P. The search window will immediately pop up. In this new update, you'll now be able to see all of your recently visited pages. There's also now better filters that you can find specific information for. If you wrap a search term with quotes, you can find an exact phrase. New team spaces. If you have the team plan on Notion, you can now add team spaces. This is great so that you don't have to create brand new workspaces each time. They are basically smaller workspaces within a large workspace. All you need to do is click plus new team space to create a new team space. Each team space can have their own privacy, invite, and access settings. Click the three dots in the team space to change the settings. Easily see page history. You can now see when the page was created and updated last. It will also say who made these changes. This information appears on the top part of the page.
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about all of the new features that came out recently. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.